Okay. Another day, another koa. This time something really, really, I mean, rare. Six by four, five fill back for the koa super 66. Okay, with the cover, remove it. Here the darkest light is as usual. Okay. And here we can see the mask for the format. Okay. So this camera has here some seals recently installed. Okay. This one, no, oh, everything seems fine. Oops. Let's see here. They are not here, the seals. Usually they should. They are not very used, but anyway, I will replace them. And in the rails, the rails should have some kind of seal. These are not really light seals. This is most, mostly used for the dust. Mm -hmm. This one here would be, let's see, I would put this one here as well. So far so good. Mm -hmm. So what I do normally for doing the service of these bags is just opening this side and cleaning the winding, I mean the counting system. I clean the counting system, then I test it with a with the body I have here, 66 for test the, the film box and check the bouncing of the darkest light when it's working. I tried before this film back, seems fine. Oh, this one, this one will need to replace as well. Mm -hmm. These small things, the rubber ones, it is the ones who make the counting works, okay? So it is very important, they are in, well, in, in a very good shape. Okay. So, let's go for it. This plate, normally, it is hard to lose. Okay. No, this is not. I level these buttons every month. Yeah, there is a button. Okay. They will soften. They blew around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's okay to lose. It's a matter of finding the gap. Seen. Mm -hmm. Before putting any screwdriver over there, let acetone works. Yeah, here we are. Yep. Yeah. 
friend. Huh. This is different than the others. Slightly different. Yeah, it is very handy to have here this, the, the spool. But anyway. use better fluid to help the skin to be removed if you see it is really tough to remove if not this glow is coming out pretty easily the bad thing of the cover skin sometimes when it is very glued many times it gets very brittle I think and if you don't pull them from both sides like this, if you do it like this, maybe you can have some tears here and there. So use two fingers. Have five screws here, okay? One, two, three, four, five. You don't need to remove this. Uh, the screws here, they are the same size. So. With the video assembly ring to unscrew with the left hand. So I can catch the screw with the pliers. Tweezers. Very plain. Okay, here we are. Rusty here. Okay, this is the counting system. The motion from this wheel goes to this mechanism. Mm -hmm. When you close the film back, you press this tab here. So they go and kiss the counting wheel and then. It is moving. Normally it takes. See, it doesn't catch. Okay. This is something new. Mm -hmm. This is not well correct. This is not. Well set, I think. At least in the others. Mm -hmm. Because it should move immediately when you when you win. Mm -hmm. I will look through it. Well, after I clean it, I will go through it and see if it's working fine or not. It's the first time I'm doing this film back. Slightly different. This is a 6x6, this one. And you see, the pin is here. Doesn't go here. Hmm. I think it's fine because there is no much gap between start and frame 1. Instead, is instead here. You see this P P P P P start red point red point frame one. So anyway, I will clean the mechanisms here. I put the roll on it and try if it does correctly or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, this mounting, this part is first. This is second. Moving the springs. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, the tricky part. This is quite tricky. For that, you need to go and screw first the roller. Uh, here you have three screws. You don't need to take them out completely. Okay, just half of the way. Okay. Here usually it's better to drop one drop of acetone because normally I cover it by part of this rubber here and this helps a lot the operation. Two and three. Oops. I like to remove them all because I want to clean them, the heads. I want to remove all the dirtiness in this part, otherwise if I leave something, it will end up on the film. Mm -hmm. Now this is here, now you can take out this. Okay, now for this one, this is quite tricky. And I, just, I don't see a space here because you need something like this. And there is not much space. And it's, sometimes it's quite hard. Okay, this is for here. Should have removed it before. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, if the, normally if this is position, it's fine, but it was, I mean, there is not enough space to get a good grip. It might happen that this upper part goes out along with the lower part, I will show you now. this first it will be easier this is screws are sealed with some soft rubber not very hard to remove mm -hmm. okay this is one piece Goes to the cleaner like this. Okay, second part is this one. This one also, it is quite tough for getting out. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Important to have the correct tools because even with the correct tool. I left the mark here. If you don't have the correct tools, you must you might spoil the, the screw, the part, 
and then it would be useless, impossible to for taking out. I like to clean this as well. Again, I'm forgetting to remove these small things because everything is easy as well. Very easy in the radio. Mm -hmm. Okay, here yeah, three screws. One, two, and three. You don't worry about any of this. It goes with this with the plate of this part. Just remember that here. I mean, take photos for the positioning of everything. This is absolutely different, this film back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I will check out the serial numbers. Okay, this is 70. This is 71. So maybe it's only this kind of film back. I never saw this before. By the way, someone was here before because I can feel that the screws are not completely tight, doing black every time I remove them. Also, you can tell by the by the glue of the skin. Mm -hmm. And this goes. Just a piece. Okay. Here is the change for 16 press move 32 frames, 16 frames. Um, if everything is gone, I mean, if you can check here. Da, 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 da. Okay, press it here, move it down. Press it here. And this will set up emotion of the wheel. Yeah, everything fine. Everything seems fine with this motion. Check out if you press the button here, you unlock the door, and the this one shouldn't fall down. Should stay in place. Okay. If not, you have to start playing with this. This is the lock for I mean, when you put the, the film back to the camera, the pin presses here and release this wheel. This wheel will open the dark slide. Mm -hmm. If you have to mess with that, yeah, it's quite tricky. Remove this and then it will have the access to the world system. Here you have one, two, three screws. Remove this and it will be a fourth hidden inside. And then you take this up without any trouble. It will be good, and I will, to remove this. Okay, let's see how it goes, just to clean it. Because usually they have dry grease, and clean it and put in a grease will make the operation smoother. Is the problem of the covers. The screws, they are losing it by over time. Mm -hmm. We we'll advise to use some thread locker on the important ones. Okay, yeah, super dry grease here and here. Okay, the position. The position is this one, basically. Uh, if you look at here, this gear, you should, this is the gap when you engage the body, you should hear three tooth. One, two, three. 
and this is the position of this wheel. This is the locker. It will be locked by this lever here, and this is pushed when you insert the film back into the bar. Okay, here. Do, 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 do. This screws. I will loosen this one. You can have marks like matching this teeth with this teeth, okay? And everything should be fine. Should be sometimes a bit more. Like, this is a six. I mean, should be up. Should be like this. This movement shouldn't be. But you have here the. The mask for the format. So. It shouldn't be a problem, maybe bouncing. Okay. You can try the feedback straight away with the body this way and check the bounce. Okay, I will check that after cleaning it. Okay, these screws are quite tricky because they have a size precisely of this screwdriver I have here. Okay, one. That fine second. Okay, click. Because if you use a smaller like this one, it might happen that you are gonna break one of the size and then you say goodbye to opening this. here usually small paper present here because when you are testing the camera you need this pin completely free okay Done. And over there, it won't, it won't hold. So you look for improvised solution. Okay. Yeah, scotch is amazing for everything. Part overall, this is working fine. So far, I don't need to look for any adjustment. Okay, courier is coming. <laughs>